Hello everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War, the Peninsula Campaign. Let me give you a quick summary of where we are. You can see that uh, we've got a few forces and wandering around. Spain is really starting to ramp up the numbers, which is good news. And we've got, obviously, William Carr Beresford, our general here. We have to deal with those guys at some point. And, you know, these guys are recovering their numbers well, so we may actually go on and say hello to that gentleman there. Now, we also have Nosy in the area. So let's see if we can find out where Arthur is. Here we go, his art. So you can see he is in a reasonably okay position, except he's had a battle recently. So his numbers are a bit low. I'm going to move him back into this area here. Probably, you know, sort of around that sort of area. Or maybe on top of the hill. Um, and essentially try and recover his numbers. And let William Carberis would do most of the work here. So, let's see. He's still down one. Can we recruit anybody? No, we can't really recruit anyone at the moment. And that's going to be a problem because we're going against a full stacker army with quite a bit of cavalry. Although we have a reasonable number of cavalry too. Hmm. Let's see, third regiment, second, and the first regiment of artillery. So. <clears throat> Now, I'm not 100% certain, but I think when we recruit new people, they appear down here in Gibraltar. As that's, I guess, how we get people into the country. So it means that we want to get forces up to there. We will need to march a group of them. All the way up to where William Carberisford is, and that's one, two, three, four, four turns to get there. So what I might do is leave William there. He's okay. He's still got some replenishment of numbers to get. So I don't think I need to worry about that. And this guy is moving back. Now, if I remember rightly, we do have a recruitment spot there. It's only a basic one. Um, we've got these guys here. A small army that had a little battle earlier. Rather silly, but entertaining nevertheless. Let's repair that. And then let's get this army of troops to there and they can also replenish their lost numbers and your single artillery there not going to be much use and obviously dragoons Ready for order. hmm let's end the turn I can't see that we can do much at the moment let's see what options we have for building? No. Can't do that as a banking house. That would be helpful. Church, school. What if we were to change that to... We change that to a college. Hmm. We'll wait and see on that one. Uh, we'll do building great estates there. And there. And that's going to be a factory. That could we could end up losing it and supply warehouse as well so let's end the turn i don't think there's really much i can do at the moment mm -hmm. what are they up to they're up to something they're reinforcing possibly madrid or at least there's more forces around the madrid area and you've got a guy moving down the right coast oh, they're stacking their army up there which is nice We've got a simple little collection of forces there hmm. 
Okay, so we have a construction report, wine created there. You can see that they 16 per turn wealth, but more importantly, plus five happiness and plus three happiness. So everyone's getting sloshed, which is a good thing. And the supply warehouse as well, which is down here. And you can see that that gives us plus 14 replenishment in that particular area. And that's going to be helpful because it's quite close to the center. So these guys are going to march over there now. Let's see how our number's looking. If we put them into there. Can we? No, they're, they're foot, aren't they? Yeah. So, let's see. Let's put those less experienced into that one there. Yeah, they're relatively okay, as far as I can tell. So, we'll obviously make sure that these guys make it up to there. There's a cannon by the looks of it. With a six pound foot. Hmm. Not sure I want them there to be honest. But these are the guys that I do want there. Let's move them to there. Now, nosy. You sir, need to get back there. There we go, the replenishment can continue. Let's get him, let's put him in there. And then give him better replenishment rates. Just generally, that will help us out. I mean, there's a reasonably okay-ish army there. And knows he could take them on. But I want to replenish his numbers first before we go down that route. Now, here is Carl Beresford. His numbers are... Replenishing. So, let's see. Those are those gentlemen there. I'm wondering if we should redirect them over to here. Because we've got, I'm pretty sure we've got a forces around here somewhere. It's down here, isn't it? This sort of area. Yeah, here we go. Your Majesty? So that might be the beginnings of a third army. So we'll move them. Who's part is blocked? Oh. There we go. And then he's going to make his way over to there. So let's see what we get off the back of that. And we've got a thousand in the bank. To be honest, I'm tempted to just leave it there. No, I don't really want to recruit militia. I'm sorry, militia. But you're going to be no use to me whatsoever. Now, whether or not we could sneak an army there, but there's no point, because if we snuck an army there, we'd lose that point because of this army. And that really needs to be our focus. But we do have a smallish Spanish army nearby to help us out. So, we'll leave that there. Let's have a look at how things are going generally. Hmm. The policies are relatively okay. Trade is looking good. Okay. Let's end the turn. Interesting. Wonder if he's going around the side there. Oh, there we go. They're reinforcing Madrid. This gentleman's coming back. Hmm. What could they be up to? 
They're definitely up to something. There is definitely a plan at work. I like the way he stands right in front of me. Thank you for that. Okay, so there's that guy there. Now we can do a construction of a drill school, which will enable things to be created, which would be helpful, but I don't know at the moment. Okay. Thank you. So there's these guys here. And these guys will move up to there. And these guys also will move and merge with them. Okay, so we've still got this very small army up here. Let's just disband those guys and keep a single unit there. That will help reduce some of the uh, impact on the money. We've still got this full stacker here, which I reckon is probably going to attack William Carberisford very soon. But we shall have to wait and see now. This gentleman and that gentleman. Fusiliers. Young guard. Hmm. Look at those numbers though. Look, 71. No, I'll leave them. We may need to send him down to recapture that town, but at least if we leave his numbers replenishing, then we'll be in a better position to actually attack them. It won't be such a weak force. Let's have a look over here. So that's going to be our ultimate goal over there. What's this? Great Estates, 400 region wealth. Let's build that. So, let's end that turn. Interesting. Yep, as expected. I may have to jump the gun and go down and attack that guy before he attacks that area. I'm not sure if they're doing some kind of handoff, like baton passing or something going on there. Difficult to say. Spy network has been established in Madrid. Fantastic. That's excellent news. And the spy has learned plus one subterfuge. Good O. So. This fella here. We got no choice really. We got to bring him down. Got two horsey in there. Let's go pick a fight. So you can see we're supported by the two horsey. We've got 3,000. He's got 2,000. Let's go punch him in the face. It's only fair. You know. I believe in being polite. Up to a point, obviously. Considering that uh, they have invaded Spain, and Spain is our ally. So Roderick Hall is the uh, commanding officer of the Clipticlops. Eduard Mortier. I thought, or Mortier? Mortier, it might be Mortier, because there's no accent. Adieu, I think, is the term over the E, so it's not A. Mortier, it's Mortier. I think, anyway, I could be wrong. I remember taking fr uh, French back in the early days of, you know when the dinosaurs were speaking it and you know what can I say right so yeah these numbers are decimated 
but we got no choice, we had to engage him. And we'll get these guys here to work with them. Like so. And we'll make them number two. We'll make our cannon, as we've only got one, which is a pity. Where can we put our cannon? Can't put them up there. Hmm. Let's put our cannon here. And unlimber him. Now. Let's see here. We'll keep these guys back to support the cannon. Put them in square. Put these guys here. And uh, a horse guard can be over there. Our other horse can be over this side. And then we've got multiple regiments remaining here. So that forms a good cross-section of troops. But we've still got these guys at the back. Which... I think I will put here. And where's the nose? We'll put the nose there. So, let's make the map big. Let's get underway. Get these guys moved up as well. Get them up onto this hill. Um, or shall we? No, that's too far one side, let's move them up to here. And then let's get number two to move as well. Some good distance on there. 12 pounds, yeah, so they're gonna have a lot more range than me. That's gonna be a problem. So let's get the horses up there. And let's get these guys up there as well. Don't shoot at that. Let's see what they can shoot at. See, they're just out of range. This is why I need to look into better cannon. But it may be that I don't have that option as the British. Those guys continue to move up. Good, good, good. We'll actually move them to there, I think. In fact, what we'll do is that collection of troops we'll bring back. And we'll put them there. So we'll run them back. Because they're a bit slightly short on numbers. So we'll that number there. So, that brigade is moving. Good, they're all moving as well. Now, I wonder if we can sneak our little heavy cav. There. 
Is that a nice little opportune area, maybe? That could be a good spot. Put them there for the moment, anyway. Oh, my lad, taking the pounding there. Not good. Come on, lads, keep going. They are the Spanish fusiliers. So let's see, back here. Yep, there we go. So if we put them there, and then put these ones here. Get those two to both run into that location. And then we'll put them into square when they're ready. So they're ready. And they're ready. There we go. Let's keep them as squares there. How are these guys doing? They're doing pretty good actually. But we need to move them to about here, I reckon. As you can see, a lot of horse. Look at that. Shit loads of horse. Let's get these guys moved up. moved up as well. Get them onto that flank. I'm not happy with these uh, cannons. Uh, let's unlimber them and bring them up. I think if we bring them up to here, that'll be a better position for them. So let's get these two guys undone and move them up to here. here and then these guys can move up to there like so now we can't really do anything until they start making a move if we can actually hit their general hard, that would be a good thing, but he's surrounded by so much horse right now. That's the problem that we've got. Let's run them in. See, look, yeah, stragglers due to the artillery hits. Not good. So there's the chasseurs. Let's run these boys in ready. Before these guys start making a move, which they already have done. Are they moving towards me? They don't appear to be yet. Oh, look at that fire. They're now running away, which is good. But they're coming back. Are they coming, actually coming at me? I have to see. Let's bring these guys up as well. further push the advantage oh here they come hello gentlemen we got a surprise for you so we'll get these guys here around to there I think 
and look, you can see here the general still very much in the center of things. Oh shit, didn't want to do that. Bugger. Did not want to unlimber them there. It's entirely my fault there. Take them out of square now that the horses have been dealt with. And get those rifle muskets working. Continuing, put pressure onto them. Are we in position yet? We should be in a matter of seconds. Uh, so, let's see. This will bring number two further. And closer in. I think we move them to there. Make a nice white coverage there. There we go. That's fantastic. Good work, lads. Let's move everyone up. Continue to push the advantage. There we go. to these guys, let's bring these guys in here, and bring these guys in here, so we've got them pretty surrounded right now, run fellas, oh, up to daisy, Around here to cover that section there. There we go, those guys are protecting that lot, which is good. Get the lights who are getting decimated right now, I think. to there. Now let's go hunting for a general. Where could he be? Hmm. Is the general already running for it? He is too, he's over there. Both of those guys in there. And these guys here. 
can help finish, close the deal. Come on, I want that general dead, please. More random horses. More horse. We have killed their general, sir. Fantastic. Well done, well done, lads. Well done, lads. Alright, let's move these guys in. And go up against the artillery. So that means if the general's dead, both of these guys can come and say hello to the artillery. These guys can come out of square. Are running, sir. Where are men running from? Why are men running? Oh, yeah, of course. Silly boy. Oh, heavens. That's not good. Come on, boys, get out of there. Put these two guys into square to allow these guys to drive by. Exactly like that. Perfect. Beautifully done work, gentlemen. Bring them back out. Meanwhile, we deal with the artillery. Continue to move our forces in further. Get both of those guys out of square. Oh, now the reinforcements arrive. Wonderful timing, gentlemen. Thank you for that. What's going on over here? The young guard. Well, Let's bring these guys in and get them up to deal with the young guard. Oh, hello, General. What's left of General? He doesn't look like a happy bunny, does he? Very unhappy bunny. Okay, so... There's a regiment remaining over here. So let's move them round and let's attack those with our remaining horse guards. And then here is another bunch which we can turn these guys around. Like so. To deal with. They are indeed. Well done, fellas. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Let's move these guys to here. Get them running. I know they're tired, but we need to get them into position quickly. I think what I'm going to do. Where are the lights? I'm going to retire the lights in the field. And here comes a large contingency of these guys. They go splat right into the Royal Guard. Whoops a daisy. Oh sorry gentlemen. Oh dear. A few of you boys went flying. Oopsie. Sorry gents. Technical problems there. There we go, they're all being brutally murdered. 
Now let's get you lot over to here to deal with this final group. And we'll keep these, we'll retire these guys. Getting them off the field. One volley for my lads. All it took. Come on, boys. Beautiful collection of food, fellas. Spanish fuzzies on the way. Cannon pretty much useless. Yeah, you can stop firing because there's no one to fire at. You idiots. Still 120 of them left, so let's do a number on them. Once we've done a number on them, we shall end the battle. There we go, they're disappearing quickly. Being brutally done over. Only fair in my book. Okay, let's end it there. So let's see, we lost 739 men, which is pretty good. Um, and we killed over a thousand of theirs. Fantastic. Now we're going to push the advantage. We are going to do exactly that. So there we go, Arthur Wellesley, Order of the Thistle, Prestige in Military and plus one to morale in battles. Fantastic, good old Wooden Nosy. Fantastic stuff going on there. And I think that's where we're going to end this week's episode of Napoleon Total War. I hope you guys have enjoyed and we shall see you again next time for more. Cheery boys.